Hey everybody, it's William Nayrod here, the Paradise Guy. You can tell from my fancy little lawn chair, beach chair, backpack that I'm wearing right here that I'm probably heading to the beach. And yes, here in beautiful Playa del Carmen, that's exactly where we're heading, down to the beach. Beaches are open here, they're open all the way down to Cancun, and they're expecting 60% occupancy in the hotels here by high season. So tourism has really rebounded a lot here. Got a lot of things to talk to you about, especially an upcoming webinar that you're not going to want to miss. So stay tuned. So of course when you're heading to the beach in Playa del Carmen, you gotta take Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue is the main walking mall here in Playa. It's absolutely stunning. There's so much to do, so many great restaurants, so many attractions, so much musical talent, and just a place that absolutely when you come here, you have to spend some time. So it's also a great way to get to the mini beaches. So we're heading down that right now. We'll be on the beach here in just a few minutes. Well, we made it. We're out here on the beach, Playa del Carmen. Obviously a spectacular, beautiful area. We've got our spot here on the beach. We're probably gonna get an umbrella, which actually you can rent down here on the beach if you don't have your own. We got these chairs on Amazon, so before you come down, or if you wanna get these when you're down here in Mexico, Amazon actually does deliver. So it's nice and convenient to get things down here. You can get these for a really great price. And are they comfortable? Absolutely. So let's talk about a few things. First of all, let's talk about beaches and tourism here in Playa del Carmen. Right now, uh, the beaches are wide open. Uh, you're able to come down here. Of course, they want you to practice social distancing. When you come onto the beach, they want you to wear a mask initially. Once you're settled in, you can take the mask off. Of course, if you're having any symptoms or you think you may have been exposed to COVID, just like anywhere else in the world, they're wanting you to stay separate. Uh, I myself uh, recently went through a battle with COVID. It is not something you want to get. Uh, even for somebody like myself who is fit and takes good care of myself, uh, still relatively young in the grand scheme of things, this is not something you want to mess with. We're talking fever, we're talking headache, we're talking chest uh, pain and congestion, we're talking fatigue, we're talking massive headaches, and it just holds on and holds on and holds on and seems like it'll never let go. So definitely make sure you're doing what you can to avoid getting this. If you do get this, I'm gonna advise you to take very good care of yourself now before you get it because COVID's probably not gonna go away. It's gonna be around, it's gonna circulate. It's not if you're gonna get it, it's probably just when. Now I've seen people who have had it down here who have no symptoms. I've seen people down here who have very, very mild symptoms. I've seen people down here who got relatively sick. I would be in that category where I was relatively sick for a period of time. And then I've seen people, unfortunately, who have gotten it and not made it through the battle alive. So um, let's just play it safe. Let's do what we can to avoid getting it. But to prepare for getting it, make sure you're eating right, make sure you're getting plenty of sleep, make sure you're exercising, and make sure you're taking good care of yourself just in overall because it's gonna prepare you much better to fight the battle when that actually does happen. So now that COVID's out of the way, let's talk about more happy stuff. Coming down here to Playa is very simple. You fly into the Cancun airport, which is wide open. You can get down here on a flight just about from anywhere right now. There is no mandatory quarantine. You fly in, you get off the plane, you catch a cab or you get a van and you go to whatever destination up and down the Riviera Maya that you may want to go to. You can go to Bacalar, you can go to Chetamal, you can go to Tulum, you can go to Cozumel, you can go just stay in Cancun. Wherever you want to go, there's Isla Mujeres. There's plenty to do down here, lots of places to go, all within a relatively compact area. If you'd like any hints or clues or tips on what to do when you're here in Mexico, please hit me up at info at paradiseguy.com. Oh, and by the way, yes, you can get some great music on the beach as well. All right, so let's talk about Belize. As you all know, Paradise Guy covers Belize and Mexico. Let's talk about what's going on down there. As of October 1st, they have announced that the airport is going to be open. Now, they had asked uh, us to announce previously that it would be open August 15th. A bunch of COVID cases um, manifested in that area. They decided not to open. They locked down the main tourist destination in Belize, which is Ambergris Key, which is where I have lived for the last five years. And they decided to postpone the opening of the airport. They've now said October 1st is the opening date. We'll see if that's gonna happen. I hope it is. 
Uh, tourism is desperately needed in the country of Belize. And of course, there are people desperate to come to Belize because it is a spectacular destination. Of course, if you have any questions about how to vacation, invest, retire, start a business, or even move to Belize, I'm still here to be your trusted resource for all that information. And last today, I want to talk to you about something that's very, very exciting in my world. And just because I feel like I have relationships with everybody I talk to here on my videos, I want to tell you about uh, a new announcement, which maybe you've seen if you've seen my Facebook page, and that is that we're expecting a new baby girl here in the next couple weeks. And we're very, very excited about that. She will be born here in Mexico because we can't actually get back to Belize right now. All of the land borders are closed. And of course, the international airport is still closed. So she's going to be uh, born here in beautiful Mexico. We're excited about that. Um, I myself spent much of my life growing up in Mexico. I lived on the border of Mexico for about the first 20 years of my life. All my major vacations were spent in Mexico. So I have a passion for the Mexican culture. I have a passion for sharing the beauty of Mexico with people like yourself. So if you have any questions about Belize or Mexico, just know that Paradise Guy is there to answer all of those. You can always reach me at info at paradiseguy.com. And with that, I so look forward to hearing from you. And even better, seeing you down here in Mexico or maybe even in Belize in the not too distant future. With that, my name is William Nayrod. As always, I am the Paradise Guy. Let's see you down here soon. Cheers.